Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Mapper. In today's video, I will show you how to practice PySpark online for free using Databricks Community Edition. This is perfect for anyone interested in learning PySpark without needing to set up a local environment. Now, let's talk about Databricks Community Edition. Databricks is a platform that enables big data processing and machine learning using Apache Spark. With the Community Edition, you can access free version of Databricks to try out Spark, which is great for practicing by Spark. Now, let's go to the Databricks Community Edition and click on the first links to get started you have to sign up the database community edition so go to the below sign in button that is a sign up accept after that, enter your name. And email. Company, if available, if you are working with, I'm putting LTIM. Or you can give it a title as Data engineer. The phone number is optional here. Give it as a country and choose as a learning and for certification. After that, continue. And for the personal use, get started with the community edition. Start the puzzle. Use the arrow to rotate the object to face in the direction of the hand. So we will in the direction of the hand and submit. After the verification completion, you will be getting a one verification link on your mail. Go to the email. and verify your email address. Click on the link. Put the password. Now, once your account is set up, log in with your email and password. You will be taken to the Databricks Community Edition, like this, a dashboard. So, now we will go and create our workspace here. Go to the workspace. and create one folder like I'm giving the tech mapper so in this folder I will be saving my all notebooks
so now create here one notebook and give a notebook a some name that is Spark practice and make sure that the default language should be your Python because you are practicing the Spark in PySpark version so it should be default in the Python and if you want to practice some other languages like uh, SQL or the Spark SQL you can use this SQL and Scala Spark you can choose the Scala here after the creation of the notebook we will now create the cluster now next go to the compute tab after clicking on the compute tab now go to the create compute tab button or you can call it button and give a compute as an other name so I will give the tech mapper cluster cluster one check the database runtime version that is a scalar 2.12 and spark 3.3.2 so I will be going with this the default one and hitting the button to the create compute so I'll get back to you again so when this cluster is created Now you can see that your cluster is running. Now go to the workspace again and open the PySpark practice notebook. After opening, go to the connect tab and choose your cluster. It is take mapper underscore cluster one, which is created by us. Wait for to connect it see the status of the connection so it says it has been connected to the our notebook now create a one code so we will be practicing a basic PySpark code to create data frame so I will already I will just copy a one ready code so just copying it now we'll paste to the R notebook so I pasted it here so we all want to check the code here first so okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that is correct now I will run this code now you can see the data frame is being created and the data is displayed on the console you can publish this uh, notebook or you can download this notebook for the uh, local purpose just go to the three dots here and do export you can export this as a dbc archive it means you can be you can uh, give to the another user to use this file as a dbc archive you can export to the html also and you can uh, export to the to as a ipython file so we will require on the ipython file so i will just export it now you can see the PySpark practice has been downloaded so it is very simple to practice the PySpark online by using 
Databricks Community Edition. So I will close this tab. And after that you have done your work completely, you again go to the cluster tab and detach your cluster from your notebook. After detachment, you go to the compute tab again and stop the or terminate the cluster. This is a very good practice after you have done your complete or your completed your job or work, you have to you must have to terminate the cluster that you have created. And that is it. Now you know how to practice PySpark online for free using Databricks Community Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy coding.